Hello, and welcome back to Miller Creek News. I'm your host, Alfred Wallace. Today, Miller Creek is holding its Element of the Year Award with Hydrogen. Hydrogen has one electron, one proton, one energy shell, is in the hydrogen family, which is one of its own, and is a gas at room temperature. Crikey! Welcome to the Element Hunter! I'm your host, Stephen Sherwin. This week, we're going after... No, 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 Element, not Elephant. This week, we're going after some of the most common... Wrong show. This week, we're going after the most common element in the world and universe, Hydrogen! Remember, folks, Hydrogen has one proton and one electron, making it possible for it to have bonds with many other atoms. What's this? Oh, no, it's just oxygen. No, uh, no, no methane. Wait, what's this? Wait, we've got it, we got it! Oh, crikey, what a beautiful specimen. Look at the one, look at that magnificent one electron, ready to make molecules with other atoms. I'm going in closer. It's giving me a thing, you right Yeah! A History Channel special, The History of Hydrogen. In 1776, hydrogen was first recognized as an individual element by Henry Cavendish. But Cavendish was a shy man. So shy that he was in fact reluctant to share many of his discoveries with the public or other scientists. Sorry. Years later, it is discovered that hydrogen, when burned, creates water. And so his discovery is given the name hydrogen, hydro for water, and gen for generator. And this year's Discovery Channel Element of the Year award goes to Hydrogen for being used in hydrogen-fueled cell cars not to help pollute, for being in the air, water, and the sun, and for combining with other elements so cooperatively, making many new molecules. And don't forget, Hydrogen is the bomb. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Ow! Hydrogen. Element of the year. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Gonna blow up in your ear. Hydrogen. Element of the year. Hydrogen. Hydrogen.